and history. They invented uh, the tax-free foundation, and they sold the public, oh, you're breaking up our trust in 1906. We're not going to have monopolies now. But then it comes out the Rockefeller still own the major oil companies. Now they're allowing the new super rich, uh, like Michael Bloomberg uh, and uh, Baron Hilton and Bill Gates and others, and in fact, we have that Times of London headline, Super Rich Meat and Secret, to talk about population control. Will you guys pull up that Times of London, Super Rich Meat and Secret, to talk about population control? And so they've met again for population control, and they're all pledging 30 billionaires uh, to give large portions, in some cases more than half their wealth, to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and David Rockefeller's pledge more money. But then when you read it, the entire foundation is for... Nanotech vaccines, mosquitoes that deliver vaccines so you can't say no, uh, sterilization, abortion. Here it is. More billionaires sign the Gates Buffett pledge. And, and we'll pop that back up on screen. Billionaire club and bid to curb overpopulation. I mean, this isn't a game. I mean, they're moving against us. They believe the planet's theirs. They want us out of the way. Yes, they do. There is no question about that. I was unaware of what you just said, but it fits very nicely within their game plan. Well, we're about to go to break, but let's start getting into rescuing a broken America. We do sell it, by the way, at InfoWars.com, so you support Michael Kaufman, Ph.D., and, of course, this operation. But, uh, I mean, the book it really is like a, a laundry list. It's a great read. It's got solutions, but also documentation about the globalist, global warming fraud. It just covers it all. Uh, briefly, give us a synopsis of the book. Well, originally it was over 1,000 pages long. I condensed it down to about 200 pages, so if you're really interested, interest in a specific issue, you know I don't go into it in very much depth, but it gives you the broad paintbrush of what the globalists have done over the last 100 years to bring us to where we are right now and how it's being manifest in the Obama administration, who is doing it, what institutions they've taken away, how they have basically caused the serious, deep division that we have in the United States, and what they've done with property rights to nullify them, because property rights are the key to wealth creation. There's no way around it. And then finally, some ideas as to how we can confront this starting in November. And, and this is an ongoing culture war against the collectivist, dehumanizing eugenicist and free humanity. And your book's not going to be the total solution. Endgame's not going to be the total solution. Obama deception isn't going to be the total solution. My new videos, you know, the secret of food exposed, uh, food, the ultimate secret exposed. But all of it together, our willingness to resist, yeah. everything the controllers do is about pacifying us. That shows they understand they're not invincible. That's right. And they are vulnerable, and they're vulnerable right now probably the most that they'll ever be if we do not take advantage of it. That's right, because they've come out in the open. Obama has fallen flat on his face. There's a huge awakening. The patriots that really know what's going on, we've got to get into the tea parties and everywhere else and really supercharge people's awakening. Yes. There's no question of that. I go into the book on that, and obviously you're talking about it. Many of the radio hosts are talking about it. Uh, people are getting fired up. Well, the biggest issue, we've got to face just how horrifying our situation is. So many people are victims of crime because they can't believe it's happening to them. It does happen. It is happening here. The book is Rescuing a Broken America, Why America is Deeply Divided. It's at InfoWars.com if you want to get a copy. It's an amazing book. Everybody needs to read it. We'll be right back. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. The Fall of America and the Western World is an all-new 10-hour documentary and survival guide rolled into one. 
In this film, you will see the reasons why our government is failing and what you can do to prepare. Featuring Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, Joseph Farah, David Icke, Naomi Wolf, G. Edward Griffin, Doug McIntyre, Mark Crispin Miller, Mickey Z, Doug Casey, David McElvaney, and myself, Alex Jones. Protect yourself and get the tools you need to protect your family from these difficult times. The Fall of America and the Western World at www.thefallofamerica.net or click on the banners at infowars.com and prisonplanet.com. Again, that website's www.thefallofamerica.net or call 800-655-1577. Prepare yourself and the ones you love today. Fallofamerica.net. As many people know, ever since President Nixon took us off the gold standard, the U.S. dollar has been devaluating. What people don't know, however, is how this directly affects your personal finances. Is there a way to prevent your portfolios from losing value? The answer to all of this is gold and silver. They have both maintained their purchasing power for 6,000 years. If you had had $100,000 in cash and $100,000 in gold and silver back in 1913 and kept them both until now, your cash would actually have the buying power of only $4,800, but your gold and silver would have the buying power of $3 million. The answer to protecting your assets is simple. Call me, John Ballman, today at 1-800-686-2237, extension 169. Get all your questions answered before you your money is worth zero. Call 1-800-686-2237, extension 169. Take action today while we still accept paper dollars for gold. That's 1-800-686-2237, extension 169. What is a wind generator? How can the wind produce power for a small cabin? How can wind energy be stored and used during an emergency? Can I assemble my own wind generator? For answers to questions about wind power, visit windbluepower.com. Did you know the wind could provide your family with emergency power? It can with a wind generator from windbluepower.com. Learn how our amazing Light Breeze wind generator kits start charging a 12-volt battery and just 6 mile per hour wind. Or see the new Cyclone X2 dual kit featuring two wind generators on just one tower. And learn why schools and universities across the country utilize our products to teach about wind power and alternative energy at windbluepower.com. All kits qualify for a 30% IRS tax credit for residential energy efficient property. Enter coupon code RADIO for a 5% discount at windbluepower.com. That's windbluepower.com. Or call 800-976-0026. That's 800-976-0026. <laughs> has written this hit piece on me in the Wired magazine claiming that this vaccine he was writing about doesn't, quote, calm the public. Well, I've got his quotes in the mainstream news article right here. Jab that could put a stop to stress without slowing us down with a live virus that goes in and attacks the receptors. So we're going to do something tomorrow with him. Just be ready for it. We're writing a big article about it today to expose him. You know, this video has been one of our best sellers, uh, and I'm excited because uh, Global Warming, Emerging Science and Understanding really details by Dr. Michael Kaufman, who's on with us, the fraud of it. Great video to give people. That's available. But why I'm so excited about rescuing a broken America, why America is deeply divided, this is an olive-branched to conservatives and liberals to show how they've been manipulated through divide and conquer – and uh, Michael was telling me that liberals, mainline liberals that read this book, are really getting woken up by it and upset, and it's shifting their paradigm. Uh, tell us about some of those testimonies and why the book's having such a big effect. Well, one of the things that liberals do is they shut you down anything that you might say almost as soon as you say it. I have approached this book as being open-minded. I don't uh, support Democrats any more than Republicans. You don't either, I know. But at the same point, at the same time, I'm not pointing the finger at any one group. I'm just basically saying, well, this is what's happening, and we need to do something about it. And one of the things that it does, if you can get past the first couple pages, a liberal can get past the first couple pages without throwing it down on the floor, uh, he will be, or she will, be hooked. I, I'm almost guaranteed. I've heard from enough of them now to realize if they're a bit open-minded, and the most liberals are, it's that small, you know, 10 or 15 percent, 
that are closed-minded. They've got the solutions of the world already figured out. They're going to ram them down your throat regardless of what you think. Uh, most of the liberals are not the progressives, hardcore progressives, that are making up our, our government and so forth. And they will start to be able to see this. I mean, there's enough question in their mind now of what Obama's doing and so forth and the failed policies that he's doing. And I take advantage of those throughout. That really starts to drive home the point. And I well, have globalism is destroying our society. It is. And now, for the first time, probably, they can see it in this book. Uh, you know, it, again, if you're really well-versed in a particular area, you're going to find this book is still fairly, fairly shallow. But as far as reaching people who do not understand it, it basically does that and puts, it connects all the dots and they can see it for the first time. I want to read a quote from the book. Show me the age and country where the rights and liberties of the people were placed on the sole chance of the rulers being good men without a consistent loss of liberty. I say that the loss of the dearest privilege has always followed with absolute certainty every such mad attempt. Patrick Henry. I mean, we know what happens when we give our freedoms up. We know. And now these people are so arrogant, they're coming out saying they're going to publicly drug the water supply to make us yeah. submit and give us shots to make us happy. I mean, holy mackerel, this is serious. It's very serious. And one of the things that I really leaned pretty heavily on was some writings of a a psychiatrist, 30 years, 40 years of experience in doing studies and so forth with a liberal mind. In fact, that's what this book is, is called. And basically, he says that these people are psychologically ill. And as a consequence, they cannot make a connection to reality. They are so far out in what they believe, that their belief is truth, that Anything that connects it to reality is purely to have and chance. And, and, that's, really and that's how they can come out and say, we're setting up world government, but you people are kooks, no world government exists. Or, yes, we're storing yeah. your naked body images, but we're not. Absolutely. I, I totally agree with you. It, it's all kinds of disconnects. If you really look at what they're doing in Congress and what their ideas are, like, you know, really promoting Islam and so forth. Well, how can they promote Islam when... The, the uh, Islamic law and so forth is so abusive to women. There's a disconnect there, and yet they do it. Well, the globalists want to destroy the dominant culture of Christianity, yes. real Christianity, not the fake Christianoid. And so they'll use anything that's from the outside to create divisions. Absolutely. You cannot basically take over or change a... a inherent cultural belief without first tearing it down and that's what they're in the process of doing it and they're basic they're deconstructing the american way and putting something else in its place and it's based on the, the uh, writings and so forth of jean jacques rousseau a frenchman in the 1800s that led to the french revolution and led to the beheading of many many thousands a Frenchman because and your book talks about that long segment coming up when we come back let's talk about that because um, Dr. Blaylock brought up the French Revolution and that's really where a lot of this got formed we'll talk about what these people plan to do it's mass killing of course we're on the march the empire's on the run Alex Jones and the GCN radio network Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. 
Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones asking you for a minute of your time to tell you about soap. Not detergents, but good old-fashioned pure soap made by the Calvin's.